good display in why not to just blow up panzer grenadiers and run them in at the enemy and certainly not do so unsupported and also a good lesson in why not to run directly at the enemy repeatedly with that blob tragically it seems like all is lost and has for the most part in fact been a very one-sided match although a good lesson in one of the few things I mentioned I wouldn't exactly Enemy unit list it now. as one of the most exciting fights I've ever seen Panzergun is once more forced back not really able to support the Wehrmacht commander, no, nor is the Wehrmacht commander able to support the Panzer Elite commander. It certainly reminds me of some of the times I played two versus two and got teammates like these quite quickly end up not being able to do much in the long run because they suffer such high attrition. They end up crippling themselves, leaving me to do most of the work and being targeted upon by the Americans. Second, nope, M10 out. Further heavy fire going out, one sniper more down. How it says going down as well. Further heavy artillery fire. Clearing out the repair pioneers. No medals for them. The enemy has 100 points and counting. 100 down. points left for the Germans. Airborne rushing forwards, taking a few shots at the Stu 42. Ground out there. Suffering losses to Tiger Fire. And the pack is being no, the, well, technically you could call it a pack since just like in English, it's just an AT gun for the Germans. Anti-tank guns were packs, so no huge loss there. Although I'm not going to fully turn into ger towards German terminology. Although I suppose if I could do that, and we have a sniper out for the Germans. Quite incomprehensible at this moment, in particular. Tiger out again. Completely wrecked and brewed up. Such a waste of fine German engineering. Grenades going off, wiping out the Panzer the team. And yes, the Stand Germans are eyes. unable to provide any further on. firepower to this fight. And it looks like the game will be over anytime soon. A few rockets barraging. A few riflemen dying in flames, horribly. But nothing decisive as now the Americans are pushing directly for the Wehrmacht commander's base and we hear a GT from Ftar and a GT from the German Hauptmann Sivan from Dodimir and possibly from Big Bad as well. Further Howard to Barrage going in on the enemy base. We have EC Ivan going out and Big Brad Blue GGing as well. So he's points. probably going out now as well indeed. So again not the most exciting match, but I thought what the heck. Hadn't seen it before and so I just did it on the fly. Now then of course a few lessons can as I said be learned from this. Don't always attack head on, not Throwing more men at it isn't necessarily always the solution sometimes. The solution is attacking from other angles for example. From here could have done a lot from here. But again I think mostly from here since the Americans really didn't have anything. And of course using cover the Germans were really bad at it and just would rush them across open territory in fact against negative cover. Really bad move. So I hope you enjoyed this otherwise and I hope you've learned something from it. And of course, if you feel like you can provide better replays for them, why not send them in? And of course, provide a few details. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not subscribe? Cheers.